Welcome to Ella Go. My name is Lisa, and this is not just a podcast about running. This is a podcast to empower women through fitness and health and everything in between. Because let's be honest, ladies, this journey could suck if we don't get our shit together. So I feel like I just did this not too long ago with everyone talking about my rebranding, feeling so excited, talking about, you know, the podcast and what was going to, you know, be happening in the future. And here I am. (laughs) I think it was like three months ago. And here I am three months later telling you that I'm rebranding again. Um, so one of the things about being a business owner, bef- besides so many other challenging things, is the name, is the name change and, you know, whether or not it's actually uh, a name that encompasses the brand and what you're doing. And of course, there's the legality side of it, you know, making sure that nobody else um has that name and you won't have any issues trademarking it. So for me, this was actually both. Um, I got to tell you from the get at the beginning, and I'm not sure if I ever said this, to be honest with you, now that I'm thinking about it. But when I first came into this whole being an entrepreneur, because I've never done this before, I had a different name in mind. And I went in this thinking I wanted to help women. It wasn't so much moms, even though I am a mom, it was more about women. I wanted to help women. But everybody was like, oh, you really need to narrow it down. You really should narrow it down to moms. So, and not that I have nothing, you know, against that because I am a mother. Um, So I came up with a name that encompasses, you know, this brand that targeted mothers. But... What was happening is that my target audience, my followers, the people that would actually purchase my services, uh, the people that were listening to my podcast, were not all moms. I mean, there are moms that listen to my podcast, but the majority of them are not mothers. And the majority of the women that follow me in, on social media, are not moms. So I realized that there needed to be a rebranding. And I always, always thought in the back of my head that I would eventually be doing this because I said to myself, I'm not just reaching out to mothers. And I feel like I'm more about all women than just moms. So how Ever, um, there's the legality side of it. So having uh, the challenges to trademark a name, which is really important to do, which you all should do to protect your name is to trademark it. And in my situation, it was difficult to trademark it because it sounded so similar to so many other names. And I, and we were all doing the same damn thing. So With that, it kind of put me in this situation where I was like, okay, we got to change the name and we got to change it now. And I'm thinking, man, what do I change it to? (laughs) You know, and I almost felt lost for a couple of weeks. And I really felt like, who am I? I mean, where do I begin? It's like starting ground zero. And, you know, I wanted something that encompasses everything that I do because this truly is not a podcast about running. And my brand is not just about running. It's about empowering women. And I wanted to put something together where it not only, you know, something that incorporated who I am a part of me, and then, of course, a part of the audience, the listeners, the women that were my followers. So I have to give it up to my coach, my coach, Tanya Brown, who's amazing, um, because she knew I was suffering like big time. We had like these name sessions. I know I had 
name sessions with my podcast bestie, Rocio. And, you know, her and I would be back and forth with names. And I'm like, nope, that nope, my lawyer's saying that's too similar to another name. Nope, going back and forth. I mean, it was painful. <laughs> painful. And finally, you know, my coach, Tanya, said to me, she's, she's looking at me. We're doing a Zoom call, and she's looking at me, and she could tell I was just suffering. She's like, we got to get this name. Let's just do, we got to get it. We got to get this name for you. And I'm like, all right, let's do this. So, you know, we were talking about my name, talking about my daughter's name, Bella. And she thought, Bella, come on, Bella, let's use Bella, something with Bella in it, like Ella. And and then I said, um, and then I'm like, maybe something with my last name or something that had to do with my name. And then I was trying to incorporate it with my mother's name. And there was finally we came to Ella Go. Ella Go. So Ella is part of my daughter's name. My daughter is Bella Maria, but it's Bella. And we took Ella. And then Go is the last two letters of my last name. Now, the interesting part about Ella Go is that Ella in Espanol, in Spanish, means she, you know, her. And when you think about it, when you look at it, it can easily be translated to she go, like she goes. And that was really what I felt, wow, this, this is perfect, because not only does it comprise of, you know, a part of me, a part of my daughter, and I always wanted my daughter, some part of my daughter in the name, in the business. And then the whole idea of here is this woman going forward, moving forward, because that is what this brand is about. It's helping women to get unstuck, to move forward freely, to go. And of course, I'm Latina and having Ella in it, it all made a lot of sense. So. Here we are with Ella Go. I'm super, super excited with this name and the branding. And honestly, it makes a lot of sense. I am so glad the universe had this happen for me because it really helped me to realize who I was and what this brand is really all about. So with that, welcome to Ella Go. Welcome to Ella Go.